Thierry Guetta, Mr. Brainwash. It's the story of a human becoming a myth, a man becoming more than himself, a symbol. Mr. Brainwash understands how to use myths, such as the preconceived fallacy of hype, to wrap the masses around one's finger. However, this is an explanation for a later time. It's time to look at Mr. Brainwash's roots. Guetta has no real schooling in the visual arts, but in a way that makes him all the more legendary. He first came to the art scene as a cameraman following three artists like the renowned Shepard Fairey and the notorious Banksy. Guetta would film and study the techniques of street artists and even help them by holding ladders, lending assistance when required, and getting into disputes with the authorities. Ultimately, it was street artists like Banksy and Fairy that inspi inspired Guetta's style. In fact, it was upon Banksy's suggestion that Guetta try his hand at street art. Banksy even joked in Exit Through the Gift Shop, the film that involved Banksy's street art that Guetta aided in the creation of, yet evidently po helped popularize Mr. Brainwash, that it was at this point that I realized that Guetta maybe wasn't really a filmmaker that he was maybe just someone with mental problems who happened to have a camera. Nevertheless, Guetta implemented styles that are similar to Banksy and other street artists, but this his true genius shone through the clouds of doubt that plagued many starving artists even before Guetta sold his first piece of art. Due to the dawning of Mr. Brainwash, Guetta's persona that acquired him so much fame and hype from art critics, fellow artists, and the average Joe. Mr. Brainwash is an active artist still out there making mind-boggling images today, but his popularity exploded around 2008 when his first show, Life is Beautiful, put his name on the map. Despite endangering the stability of his home life of not only himself, but his wife and three children, Guetta remortgaged his house cracked open his last piggy bank, and spent thousands of dollars on the investment of his public image. A team of assistants helped him build the hype of Mr. Brainwash, Guetta's new persona as an artist. Long story short, from the investment of a calculated risk, the betting success in the hype of a persona paid off, for Mr. Brainwash ended up selling millions of dollars worth of work after only a few weeks into his art show. By now it's become clear that Mr. Brainwash incorporates images of popular culture into his work to appeal to people's familiarity and everyday faces and images. Yet Mr. Brainwash's work is so much more than merely a recognizable photo. His work has slogans and adages that transcend wisdom beyond his years. Take a look at the piece with the backpackers. To the right of the piece, it's written in blue paint, Life is Beautiful. While this is a straightforward message, the image and depth of, to the meaning of the words of Mr. Brainwash are very powerful. Look at the heart being held up by the two figures in the bottom right corner. Then note the sad half smile of the lady to the left. Lastly, look at the balloon animal in the top right hand corner. The life of a backpacker is rough. But what Mr. Brainwash is portraying through this image is that while life may have its valleys, there is great happiness that is evident in the heart, smiling lady, and iconic balloon animal that bring joy to all. The style of Mr. Brainwash has been known to only dabble with black and white, yet he typically uses multiple bright colors with a style somewhere in between collage and graffiti. They're almost they are almost always some sort of recognizable media or image in his pieces. Most interestingly are the ways Mr. Brainwash presents his art, for he has worked on the sides of buildings like a true graffiti artist, hence his Banksy and Fairy inspired roots. He makes some pieces on large canvases, but has also been known to put a twist to his work, such as crafting chaotic images in irregular shapes such as that of an egg. Mr. Brainwash shows insight to other ideas he believes are important. Upon viewing the young boy with the camera, the message is clear. 
The boy is surrounded by popular societal images such as Campbell's Soup and Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Furthermore, the boy is holding a camera. This shows the message that Mr. Brainwash wanted to portray, since the popular images and the boy's camera represent the vice grip that the media, independent companies, organizations, and so forth have on our society today. Gaze at Mr. Brainwash's version of the Mona Lisa. Not only is she made from black and white, but there are numbers at the bottom of the piece. Perhaps Mr. Brainwash is indicating that she's an inmate and this is her mugshot. He could be thinking a deep bit deeper, however, for he could be implying that the number is a serial number to some mass-produced produ product, and in theory comparing one of the world's most coveted artworks to a worthless, mass-produced product in the sense that art of some random person has as significant as a widely distributed good. Finally, it is a fitting to end on the image of the two individuals holding the sign that reads, Art is all over. Mr. Brainwash uses certain images and words to sway his viewers to come to the conclusion that he wanted them to reach. But in this image, he shows that art is truly an animal all its own. An artist can have an intention for a particular artwork, but once it's finished, the meaning of that art is up to the interpretation of those who experience it. Art is an abstract painting that makes you feel happy, sad, or even quizzical. Art is an extremely realistic portrait that captures the subject as if by camera. Art is a popular image used to make a statement. Art is not the ink, but the meaning of that ink after a typewriter etches it into existence. Art is music that makes you stomp your feet and sway side to side as if by some mystic trance. Art is the ideal of a superhero as a symbol of justice and infallible righteousness, an example of a famous figure making a stand for something legitimate. Art is a gift. Art is a weapon. Art is all over.